Lord, I'm just going to seek you no matter what happened, no matter what doors uh, close on me. You know what I'm saying? No matter what doors open for me. I'm going to continue to seek you. I'm going to continue to be faithful. I'm going to continue to obey your word. Whatever you want from me, whatever you have for me, wherever you want me to go, whatever you want me to say, when you have a mindset like that, you don't care what doesn't come your way. You don't care who gives you something or takes something away from you because you know that your life is centered in the will of God. Okay, so it's like so cold right now, like it's freezing outside and I have my heater on. So if you hear a noise, it's my heater going. But I wanted to talk about this today, like how to deal with doors closing on you as a believer, because everything that I talk about normally stems from something I have been through myself. And recently I have been hearing some no's and, you know, some things just not coming through that I feel like I want it, you know. And so I wanted to talk about it today because it, it I wanted to know and how other people like deal with stuff like that because I believe that like God is maturing me and I'm able to handle things differently than the way I did when I was a uh, immature Christian and so because in the past when I would hear no or uh you know something just doesn't come through for me like it would bother me like I would probably cry I would probably call my mom I would get so upset about things because I feel like why can't I, you know what I'm saying? Why isn't this coming through for me, you know? And so I wanted to just really talk about it because I feel like God is maturing me and I'm able to share some information to help someone else out. So I want to help you out today and, you know, just get this stuff off of my chest. Everyone would hear no or be rejected or an opportunity fall through the crack, you know, from some point at some point in their lives like you're gonna hear no like it's just normal like every person whether you believe or not you're gonna hear the word no you know and um as believers we deal with that different because especially if you are a mature believer like you're gonna deal with that information differently because we don't think as the world thinks like we don't think like the world like so we respond to things differently you know when you mature in God, you respond to things differently. Um, you can hear like, um, just say a door close on you. It was something that you wanted, you know, you feel like this is what I want, you know, and then it's, you get a call saying, you know, it's a no. And like, how do you process that information as a believer? And you got to remember that people are watching you. You can't fall apart. You can't like, oh no, like, you know what I'm saying? And it doesn't mean that like, it's not for you, but you know, everything that we do, like if we trust God. So when I get a no, I know that I trust God. I know that I'm praying for a certain thing. You know what I'm saying? Or, and I know that my heart well, I pray that my heart is pure and I know that I'm in that place with God that I have a relationship with him and I know that I trust him. So if I trust him and something does not, you know, come through for me, I know that God has my best interest at heart. I know he sees what I can see. He knows what I does not, what I do not know. And so I trust him. So I'm like, okay this didn't go through bomber but at the same time god you know it's best something else must be greater or you're trying to teach me something you know what i'm saying or it's just not for me or you don't want me in that place at that time you don't want me connected with certain people at this time you know what i'm saying it's a reason god is saying no and if you are a believer and you know that you're in that place with god you got to trust that you know, doors closing is not a bad thing all the time. And in the future, we'll look back and say, I'm so happy that that door closed. I'm so happy that I did not get that because I got this now. And, you know, I couldn't see this, you know, because God knows what's best for us. I always pray that like, Lord, I want your will for my life. I truly wholeheartedly want your will for my life you created me and so you know what's best for me you know how to take me places i've never been you know what i'm saying you know my heart's desires also and i pray that my desires are centered in the will of god you know my desires are not outside of the will of god so if i just keep seeking you you know you're going to make sure 
that my life is taken care of, that I have everything I need, and you're going to open doors for me that I need to walk in, that you are wanting me to walk in. So that's how we have to look at it as believers of God. And just remember that just because you get a no, just because a door closed doesn't mean you should stop, like you should give up. Because sometimes we feel like, oh, well, that wasn't for me. I'm giving up. I'm not doing it anymore. You know, and a lot of people do that with their business and i have done it with my youtube i'm like you know what i'm saying it's not growing i'm done i'm giving up you know but i know i'm passionate about it i'm passionate about the things that god is uh calling me to do releasing things helping people encouraging people i'm passionate about that so why would i give up just because i don't see what you know what i'm saying or the growth that everyone else is seeing you know and the growth that he's given me is a blessing like i've connected to people and i made some friends like in other states and i love it like some of us we uh text we talk on the phone from time to time and those are the connections that i i want to make but you know sometimes we look at it and say like it's not big enough, God. And so I just don't want to do it no more because I didn't get the opportunity that so-and-so, you know, God. And we have to stop comparing ourselves. Like when we um, know that we're different from the next person and our journey may be different from the next person. And then we'll, we'll be able to handle doors closing. Like when a door closes on a believer this is what we do we say praise the lord because god you know what's best for me you know and so just because you get a no don't doesn't mean that you should give up but you should continue to seek god you know and the bible says seek him first you know and if we get that in our minds lord i'm just gonna seek you no matter what happened no matter what doors uh close on me you know what i'm saying no matter what doors open for me i'm going to continue to seek you i'm going to continue to be faithful i'm going to continue to obey your word whatever you want from me whatever you have for me wherever you want me to go whatever you want me to say when you have a mindset like that you don't care what doesn't come your way you don't care who gives you something or takes something away from you because you know that your life is centered in the will of god and you trust that god has your best interest at heart because he is your creator you know he is our master our savior our everything you know i remember crying like literally crying when things did not go my way and i always felt like i always got the short end of the stick i always felt like you know what i'm saying everybody was going farther than me and you know i felt like i wasn't as blessed as other people and i felt like the outcast i feel i mean that's that's just really how i felt my whole entire life like i feel left out i feel just like i just doors did not open for me like it opened for other people like i just i just felt like that you know and that's when i was immature like i would literally call my mom and be crying about something that did not come through for me and like i'm about to fall apart she's trying to encourage me and i don't want to hear it because when you're immature you don't want to hear someone encouraging you you just want to hear someone like just get on the same like frequency as you and just be complaining with you you know but god is really growing me up and i can tell i can tell how i respond to situations you know and because i honestly know that god loves me and he's not gonna put more on me than i can bear he's not gonna take me to a place that he has not prepared me for and that's why we get doors closed on us also because we're not prepared we haven't prepared ourselves some things that we want in life we're not ready for it and god knows we're not ready for it god wants to bless us but he wants us to be prepared he wants us to know how to handle the blessing the blessings and opportunities that he gives us he knows that we're going to mess the opportunity up because we just are not prepared for it it's, it's not there it's a timing for everything god has a timing for everything you know for every season you know there's a time for everything and god knows that even for you there's a time that you're gonna grow there's a time that doors are gonna open there's a time that doors is gonna close and it's not always a bad thing 
you know, and so we just have to trust the timing and make sure we prepare ourselves. Don't give up. Keep working towards what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? If God called you to it, don't give up just because an opportunity didn't come through. That may not be the opportunity that God wants for you. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to teach us something or he's trying to take us a different route because he's trying to take us somewhere and we just have to trust the process, you know, and so um, it's just it's just part of life. You're not going to get every single thing that you want the exact way that you want it it may come a whole different way but know that god knows what's best for you so i just wanted to share this with you today and i also thank you guys for watching this video and stay tuned for my next video make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to this channel thanks for watching